Hello, hello, what's up everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and I am here to talk about and review Daddy's Home. Daddy's Home is a 2015 comedy film that I watched just last night for the very first time, mostly because the second one is coming out. So I said, well, I never watched it. Let me sit down and watch this. And the plot is we meet Will Ferrell as Brad, who he has married, just married. This woman, Sarah, she has two kids of her own. And he's happy because he can't have kids of his own. He wanted to be a father more than anything. So he's trying to be there for them, trying to get them to call him dad. But, of course, the real father decides to show up. The real father... Dusty played by Mark Wahlberg and that starts a rivalry between the two of them where they're going at it head to head trying to win the affection of the kids and I guess the wife as well. What I thought of Daddy's Home is I'll be honest I did not love this movie. I don't even think I liked the movie. I just sat there for a lot of it not bored not even bored. I just it's a comedy movie. It's a comedy movie first. And what do I say about comedy movies? You have to make me laugh. You can have the dumbest plot ever. Of course, we've seen that. And a lot of that works. As long as they make me laugh, I will give you such a great review, such a high rating. In this movie, I couldn't do it because I just, I don't know what it was. I wasn't laughing. A lot of the jokes, a lot of the humor, a lot of the gags didn't get me. And it's weird to say because I love Will Ferrell. He usually always, almost always makes me laugh. Even movies that I don't love, like that one with him and Kevin Hart, like he consistently made me laugh in there. This one, I just wasn't into it. It was because I, I, I was getting behind him as a character when he did want to be a father so much. And like, you can, you can of course, appreciate a character like that, but between the two kids being assholes, let's be honest, they were just, they were. They were mean, they were rude, and I know it's comedy, but it's just like, dude, they're not even worth it. Just, I, you wanted to say that. And then, when Mark Wahlberg shows up, of course, he's douchebag asshole number one. He couldn't be any more of a douchebag, and he somehow gets everybody around him to love him and take his side. And I know you're probably not supposed to like him, but you spend the whole movie disliking him. To the point where when we are supposed to like him in, in a way or make him more humanized, I just was like, eh, eh. Like the one scene where Will Ferrell wanted to prove that he can ride a motorcycle. Why? Because Mark Wahlberg can ride a motorcycle. So he gets on the motorcycle and he drives off, goes into the house, and it's this huge thing. The motorcycle comes out of the wall. Will Ferrell stuck in the middle of the wall. It was so goofy and so cartoony that I'm just like, why did we have to go that far with it? So, like, so obviously fake and just not funny either. The two of them, their chemistry, I like them better and and the other guys, honestly, I thought they worked well and worked better in that film. This movie just, I, I didn't get that same chemistry. And, and Linda Cartinelli, who plays the wife, Sarah, I was getting annoyed with her as well. The whole time, she's not sticking up for her husband, Will Ferrell. She's not saying anything when Mark Wahlberg comes in to try to be head macho guy. She never sticks up for him. Never says anything. There's a scene where she's sitting on the couch with him and the two kids when Will Ferrell's coming back home from work and they're they're looking at old slideshows of when they were dating and showing the kids that and looking like a family and, and I know it's supposed to be oh Will Ferrell he's feel bad for him but how am I supposed to like her as a character after her doing that? But there was one scene where I did get one huge belly laugh. I will admit that. It's when they go to the basketball game and Will Ferrell, uh, like he got the tickets. He spent 18 grand on these tickets. But Mark Wahlberg ended up knowing somebody there. So they obviously got floor seats and got to meet Kobe Bryant. And he, and he ended up being the hero. So Will Ferrell is back in his original seat drinking and drinking, getting drunk. 
He gets on to the, the floor and throws a basketball at the, the cheerleader's head and then tries it again and throws the basketball at some kid in a wheelchair. <laughs> I know it probably makes me an asshole. It probably makes, you probably think I'm one of the worst human beings ever to find that funny. But that made me laugh. That over the topness, that sort of offensive type humor, that makes me laugh. If it wasn't for that big laugh, honestly, I probably wouldn't give this a uh, uh, decent review, uh, middle of the road review that I'm giving it. Some of the other actors, Tom and Hayden Church was fine. Hannibal Burst honestly was just there. He never made me laugh. But John Cena at the very end was great. It was a small part, but that made me laugh as well. So look, overall, if I were to rate it, I would give it the lowest of rentals. It would have been a some old bullshit if not for that big laugh scene and a couple other chuckles here and there. So guys, let me know in the comments below what do you, what do you think of Daddy's Home? Have you seen it? Did you like it more than I did? Am I being too harsh on it? Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later!